This next repair we're going to do is a broken edge. So this may happen if a door gets dropped or gets bumped into something. It may not be this clean. There may be some little splinters of wood sticking up. And the very first step would be cut those splinters away and make it look clean like this broken edge is clean. Once it's all cut, just like we did every other time, we're going to clean the surface. We're going to make sure that surface is clean so all of our products stick to it. So quick clean on a rag, just like that. That quick clean, I don't think I mentioned it before, will literally dry before your eyes. That's one of the reasons it's called quick clean. And just like before, we have to sand both surfaces because we're going to be using the hard fill stick again. And we want those surfaces to be scuffed up. So when we put a hard fill down, that hard fill has something to stick to. If you don't sand that, you're trying to put a hard fill on a piece of painted wood. And sometimes that wood is so smooth, it really doesn't, really won't stick to it. So there we sanded it. And now we're ready to fill that. But because it's on an edge, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to use some masking tape and we're going to try to create a form or a mold for one side of that defect. So I'm going to try to do this upside down and do a really good job. But what I'm going to do is put that tape right near the top of the defect. So now when I fill that with the hard fill, that's going to act like a mold or a form, like almost like a cement mold. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to actually do my best to get the hard fill all the way down into that defect. And that'll be our next step. All right, again, what we're going to do is we're going to use the heat iron. We're going to put this and we're going to try to drip the hard fill into the defect. Wipe off the tip. You really want to wipe it off every time. You want to keep it as clean as you can. So now what I need to do is let this cool. And I need to remove the tape. Hopefully the hard fill went all the way down to the bottom of my molder form. If it didn't, I'm going to have to fill that area after I take the tape off. When you take the tape off, don't rip it off like you're taking off a band-aid. You kind of want to be a little bit gentle with it. I'm not saying you can't do it like a band-aid. I'm saying, why would you? Because if you rip out that fill, you're going to have to retape it and you're going to have to do it again. So we filled the broken edge with a hard fill stick. We used the masking tape as a dam or a form. The hard fill stick is cooled off and now we're ready to remove the tape. The fill didn't come out. It went all the way down to the bottom of the defect and now we're ready to level the fill. Again, I'm not going to be rough with it. I'm going to level one side at a time. I'm going to put the grater right on top and drag it back. And I'm going to keep doing that until it's level on one side. My next step will be to sand on one side, 
sand on the other side. All right, we're back. We have the broken corner sanded and shaped properly. What we have to do now is remember all those little sanding marks that we created. We want to seal those and fill those in, and we want to make sure that that fill also gets sealed in. I'm going to be spraying this on the table. I'm not going to move it so you could see it. But if you're doing this for real, keep in the back of your mind, I still want the overspray going off the panel. So I'm going to spray like this. That's not going to be a problem. Then I'm going to have to start spraying here, and all the overspray is going to go on the panel. If this was a real job, we would pick it up and we would spray it so that you're only spraying that edge. So again, give it a quick shake, give it a test spray, and we're ready to spray the one side. Spray the other side. Going to pause just for a second. We're going to give that another coat. Okay, so to recap what we've done, we had a broken corner. We filled it with the hard fill stick. We leveled it. We put a coat of sealer over it. We use the sealer to seal the fill into the repair. We also use the sealer to fill in all those little sanding scratches. Our next step is going to be to color it with the white aerosol. Give it a couple quick shakes. Give it a test spray. And we're going to spray on this side of the panel. Then I'm going to move over and spray the other side of the panel. Again, my overspray will not be directed off the panel this time, but if we were doing this for real, we'd actually pick this up and make sure that the overspray was directed off the panel. Okay, I want to keep going, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to let that coat of white dry. So we put our second coat of white on the broken edge. It's dry, it's smooth, can't really see the broken edge. Your last step, again, if you want to do it, you put the clear on top. That'll give you a little bit more protection. Kind of blend the sheen together. This time I'm going to spray on the rail, the style, and the very edge of the door. That's it. Once this dries, it'll be a satin sheen. The broken edge is filled in and the color is blended to the rest of the door.